Right now, though, it's time for us to go to this week's Trailhead Adventure, and we're introducing a new At Your Leisure family member, Shelley Osterloh. And she's here to tell us that At Your Leisure isn't the only TV show paying attention to Utah's great outdoors. Thanks, Chad. One thing I know from living all my life in Utah is that Utahns love the land. They always will, and they always have. The love affair between Utahns and the public lands goes back ever since the first pioneers came into the valley. This unique American landscape gets into your body, into your soul. Open space has always been a defining characteristic of the West. Vistas reach hundreds of miles to a horizon that, like a siren song, calls to adventurers and journeymen to always take that next unknown step. The land is loved by everyone who sees it, but more so by those who experience it. On foot, ATV, horseback, even airplane. For them, the rocks and shrubs and endless sky become a part of their lives. Perhaps that is why there is so much passion on all sides when it comes to protecting and managing these public lands. Today, the issue isn't about who should control access and who should be shut out. It's about telling the story of how we got to this point in the land access debate and what tomorrow may hold for those with a stake in its future. We are at the beautiful Hidden Splendor Mine site on the southern San Rafael here in Utah and we are doing a documentary. We're helping PBS out and USA All is telling the motorized community's story. This year we're bringing out two very special documentaries that look at critical issues that are shaping life on these public lands in the American West. In the 21st century, we have more demands than ever before on the way we will utilize and protect these public lands. Do we protect land? And if we protect land, what does protection mean? What does reasonable access mean? So our programs, one on wilderness designation, one on the Green River, are designed to look deeply at the landscapes in question and look at the great issues that are playing out in them right now. Here among the towering cliffs of the San Rafael Swell, the film crew from local PBS affiliate KUED interview multiple use advocates in an attempt to understand the drive of dirt bikers and ATVers. As land access debates have evolved, these users are often painted as a destructive force. Mike Swenson, executive director of the Utah Shared Access Alliance, is here to show why, in the opinion of those who use the land regularly, that perception is unfounded. This misconception that I think is portrayed that we're just a bunch of uneducated, you know, hillbillies, it's just baloney. It's just not even close to true. I just want to get to the truth. Ken Verdoya, director of production at KUED in Salt Lake, wants to find that same truth. For him, the mindset of East versus West reaches to public land use as well. It's led to some pitched debates between people in the East who believe that we should be little more than a museum and the people that live in the West who say we do the living and dying and laughing and crying out here and we should have a determinative say in what goes on with the landscape. We believe there can be a point of reconciliation but that debate is over 150 years long and it's still going on. The two documentaries are scheduled to air this fall on PBS in conjunction with Ken Burns' National Park series and promise to bring our western public land issues to the attention of the entire nation. The iconic grandeur of the western United States will continue to inspire and awe those who step off the beaten path and make it part of their lives. Their stories will weave into the tapestry of what makes this part of the world so unique and why there is so much passion for it in the first place. We felt it was very important for us to be involved so that we could tell our side of the story rather than allow some other group to tell our stories. I think it'll be overall pretty good. If you love At Your Leisure, you're going to love these two programs from public television because they're cut from the same cloth about people interacting with the landscape in a special way. Give us a chance and we'll take you on a journey to some places that are very, very special. And lucky for us, Utah has many of those special places. Maybe we can explore them together. I'm Shelley Osterloh for At Your Leisure.